Hi, I'm Tom Liam of Camo Herbs. We're here at Camo's Herb Processing Room to create a short instruction video. This will assist practitioners and students on how to advise the patient on cooking raw herbal formula. Overview of topics covered. What type of pot should be used to decoct the herbs? How much water should be used? How long should the herbs be cooked? How should the flame be set? When should the herbs be double cooked? Do certain ingredients require special cooking techniques? Tips for drinking herbal tea. Firstly, we need to advise patients to use either a stainless steel pot, glassware, or traditional earthenware. These types of pots are ideal since they do not react with the decoction. With that said, I will recommend to the uninitiated or the novice to use the glass pot. Glass pots have a big advantage because it is clear. You can see how much water you have left during the cooking. Next, we need to advise the patient how much water is needed for cooking. Generally, for an average size formula between 100 to 120 gram formula, such as Xiao Yao San here, it is recommended that we use 6 to 8 cups of water, or 180 to 240 milliliters of water. The amount of water needed can vary depending on the herbal ingredients used, so it is important to see what ingredients you have in the formula. Prescriptions that have starchy ingredients, such as Gilgin and Shan Yao, may require more water than formulas that do not have starchy ingredients. Once the water is in the pot, make sure it covers the herbs by at least one half to one inch. Now we are ready to cook the herbs. The amount of time needed to cook an herbal formula can vary with the type of formula written. Here are some general recommendations that one can apply. Determine what type of formula you have. I will break it down to the following. Release exterior formulas, tonic formulas, other varied formulas such as clearing heat, invigorate blood, drain dampness, etc. For release exterior formulas, a range of 10 to 25 minutes is recommended. These types of formula should not be cooked for a long duration, since that will decrease therapeutic effectiveness. For tonic formulas, a range of 40 minutes to 1 hour is recommended. Ingredients in these formulas tend to be rich and require a longer cooking time. For other varied formulas, a range of 20 to 40 minutes is recommended. Formulas such as heat clearing, invigorating qi and blood, drain dampness, and others fall into this category. After the amount of water and cooking time has been determined, we can start cooking the herbs. Place herbs and water in the pot on a high flame until the water boils. Then reduce the flame to allow simmering at low heat. Begin timing once the water starts to boil, partially covering the pot with the lid as this will prevent the herbal tea from boiling over. Place herbs and water in the pot on a high flame until the water boils. Then reduce the flame to allow simmering at low heat. This is important to prevent overboiling. At this point begin timing once the water starts to boil. Now partially cover the pot with the lid and not fully as this will prevent overboiling.